Everybody, welcome back to the channel. A little bit different video today. We're going to do how I receive custom orders. Uh, this particular individual, I'll cover his name up right here, but uh, Mikey's out of Texas and uh, he sent me a, a box of about 25 baits and we're going to do a custom order on it. And I've had several questions uh, through my website as, as well as YouTube. And, you know, if you're going to send in, you know, a group of baits or a bait or, or 25 baits as this gentleman has, uh, you know, how do you like to have those baits packaged? And so that's going to be what this video is about is how you go about sending in some lures, uh, what kind of detailed descriptions you want to give that custom painter. And this guy did a tremendous job, so this is going to be a good one uh, for us to uh, kind of use as an example. Then we'll dive in and we're going to do, uh, we'll show probably several videos of how we, we got Mike's um, Bait's done, and he's got some cool patterns in here. So look forward to those videos coming up in the future. So let me jump behind the camera, and we'll show you how this goes. All right, so we got our custom bait order. This guy's packaged in a nice box. It doesn't have to come like that, but uh, as many baits as he sent, um, pretty good deal. Obviously, it looks like he's used uh, the mystery tackle box like a lot of us do. Uh, but anyway, he's got... Uh, He's got a nice uh, typed out response to what's exactly the baits want. Uh, one thing that I do recommend is if you're going to be sending baits that have been uh, uh, previously painted, uh, that uh, they're in good shape, in really good shape. They're fat-free shads, and they're individually packaged. Uh, if you don't want to type it out, just write on the back what you want the color. Uh, in this particular case, uh, we're going to be doing uh, on the fat free something in metallic black. Okay, so we've kind of left that up to me to be creative on that one. Uh, we've got another package here of uh, looks like some magwort blanks. Uh, these are going to be going down, <clears throat> I think, in blue bruiser pattern. Let's see what else we've got in here. We've got some blanks, uh, some spooks. The two spooks are going to be uh, in a natural bluegill series and a gizzard shed series with the real scale version. And we've got 10 rock crawlers here that we're going to do half and half. Uh, five black, uh, translucent black, and five in a zombie pattern that's going to have a cool little twist to it. Um, and this is going to be a nighttime deal, so man. I think that's going to be a sweet little deal. Then the last set of baits that we got here uh, looks like some four different shallow divers, and these are also going to be in the ghost ghost thread fin pattern. So again, when you ship uh, a custom painter, me in particular, I don't care if you've got uh, really nice and well typed out like like uh, he has here, uh, but uh, you know, very detailed and descriptive on how he wants it, and uh, uh, but you can, like I said, just write it on the bag. You know, put on here, these are 10 rock colors. I want five translucent black and five in whatever color or one of this, one of this, one of this, however it is. So, uh, but very well packaged. Uh, one of the big things on, you know, store-bought lures, uh, make sure you remove the hooks. I know that's a big thing. Uh, it is for me. We just do too many um, custom orders and it's just extremely difficult to get the proper hooks back on each individual bait and to keep up with them when you may have you know several several orders and you guys have seen in the past where uh, you know I may have three or four customers lures out there and if they're doing the same pattern knock them out at one time so occasionally I'll get some that's got you know the hooks on them and we'll take care of that for for the customer it's just like this one you know, I will have to come in here and remove these split rings, and that's just a little more time, but not a big deal. Uh, again, just wanted to kind of give you a little short video on uh, how, you know, we receive custom orders, or if you're interested in getting a custom order, then uh, this one's a good example. Find the patterns on my online website. So anyway, I want to jump back in front of the camera. Um, again, just a short little video to kind of show you uh, out there if you've had questions about how to get custom orders done, uh, how to package them properly. Uh, be detailed in your descriptions on you know kind of how you want. I'll always follow up with a phone call. 
Uh, my procedures is, is obviously follow up the good phone call, find out uh, as best we can what you know the pattern is. A lot of times the guys will send me a picture or send me a sap, sample bait of what they're wanting matched. Uh, and uh, then generally I'll break right into uh, doing the pattern, taking some pictures of that, some good pictures of it, uh, emailing that to the customer to verify whether or not they're they're good with uh, uh, what the pattern is and how it looks, then I'll clear coat them, package those things up, ship it out to them. So try to do really, uh, try to have a good turnaround. Uh, I know that's a big thing for just getting into this. Uh, you know, I've got this one in. I try not to, to lead my customers on and tell them it's going to be, you know, I'll have it done in three days when I can't, uh, you know, get that done. Now, I've got this package in, I think, a week ago. and going to get started on that stuff tonight we're going to shoot some cool videos and hopefully by the end of the week i'll have this guy's uh stuff back out to him and he can get out there and go night fishing with some cool new patterns so uh like i said earlier in the video uh there'll be some videos coming up of some new patterns that uh mike has uh more or less led me to uh paint and stuff that's maybe not on my website and so I think there'll be some pretty cool stuff that maybe some of you guys out there can take, uh, take to your lakes, try them on your home waters. Uh, a lot of these are going to be night fishing crankbaits. So uh, pretty cool. Something that I really enjoy. And uh, he's going to take a few of my patterns and then he's got some of his own. We're going to be pretty creative with this one. And uh, so look for those coming up. I uh, appreciate you guys checking out the channel. We're uh, very grateful for uh, the views that we get. And... Uh, trying to grow this channel. So until next week, Green Country Bait signing out.